All right, y'all, so I know I've done a few uh, videos now talking about this Browns Chiefs game, but I had one more thing I wanted to comment on here. Um, and that's why is David Njoku not starting over Austin Hooper? Uh, you know, this is something I've been paying attention to since we got Austin Hooper because I had such high expectations for him. I really thought he was going to be our Mark Andrews, uh, like Baker had at Oklahoma. Uh, if you'll remember, Mark Andrews and Baker were absolutely incredible together uh, when they were at Oklahoma. And I thought that Austin Hooper was going to be the perfect guy to bring in here and help elevate this offense and evolve this offense to the next level. And um, it's not that Hooper's been terrible, but he's not been great. You know, it's not been nearly as good as I was hoping. Um, and I have not seen anything really of what I was expecting. Now, with that being said, this off season, David Njoku has been spectacular. He's been the guy who's been the quiet story of the offseason. Nobody's really talking about, but he's improved drastically. And through practice uh, and training camp, um, you know, when the Browns were doing the joint practices with the Giants, just stuff that you were seeing from Njoku, just it looked like a man out there playing with boys. Um, and to me, Njoku's physical traits combined with now his improvements, uh, you know, receiving and route running and all this stuff, to me, he should be tight end one. Uh, there, I've seen nothing but great things, things uh, rather, from David Njoku this year. And in that Chiefs game, sure, Austin Hooper had uh, you know, a pretty good catch to get the first down on a slant. You know, Baker put it where it needed to be. Um, and he wasn't horrible in that game, but he wasn't a difference maker. David Njoku had some plays in that game, in my opinion, that made him a difference maker. Um, he had a couple clutch catches. If I remember, there was a screen to him. Um, he, he was fantastic. You know, he's somebody nobody's really talking about. Um, but in my opinion, I think given the fact that this Browns offense needs to be um, a little bit better in the passing game, I would say more preferably middle of the field and downfield, David Njoku should be starting, okay? Um, and if anybody agrees with me, go ahead and let me know in the comment section. I just think based on what I've seen so far, uh, with both uh, both Austin Hooper and David Njoku over the last two seasons, and more particularly this year, it does not make sense to me how Njoku is not getting more playing time over Austin Hooper. And uh, yeah, I understand about the blocking and stuff. That's another thing. David Njoku has greatly improved in every category, including blocking. He might not be as good as Hooper in that sense, uh, but I think he is more than capable. So let me know your thoughts. Should David Njoku be starting at tight end for the Browns? And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.